Samantha and Rachel. <laughs> that was my favorite one. <laughs> I was like, wait, who's Samantha and Rachel? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Lifestyle, Lifestyle of the Plebe and Nameless. I'm Joan. And I'm Coco. We're back for our next reaction series. This time we're going to be doing Business Proposal. Since we just wrapped up Bridgerton, which if you haven't checked it out yet, we have it linked up in Coco's Corner. Right here. We heard that Business Proposal was a really popular show, and it's kind of like a relaxing chick flick. Yes, because our last K-drama was so intense, which was Snowdrop. Yes. So I wanted to do a nice, tropey K-drama. I'm Hill Soap, the male lead. Oh my god. The last time I seen him was in Romantic Doctor 2, and he just blew me away. Really? Yes. I feel like he looks like Yuzuru Hanyu for those figure skating fans out there. He looks like him, doesn't he? I can see it a little bit, but he just has like a beautiful face. And the female lead too, she's gorgeous. She's so cute. Before we get started, if it's your first time here, welcome to our channel. And make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more reaction videos from us. Let's jump right into the opening scene. We have the male lead, he's in the airport, and he's the only one that's in a cartoon, whereas everyone else is like real life. I thought that was really cool how they did it. I like the kitschiness of the show. Mm -hmm. I think it makes it really fresh. And I think a lot of it has to do with like, it's from a webtoon originally. Oh, okay, got yeah. you. So all of their edits are like super cute. I, mm -hmm. I like that a lot. And all the ladies are checking him out at the airport. You have this girl that bumps into him and she was about to like tell him off. <laughs> and she's like, oh my god, you're too hot to tell off. <laughs> but immediately we can see like he's just strict, like business focused and don't care about anything else. No. And then you see his assistant. Oh my god, he's so cute. And I thought, oh, he looks familiar. It took me a while to figure out where he was from, but he's from Snowdrop. I know, the hothead comrade. He got a glow up for this show. He looks so good without, like, you know, the... All the, the blood. Yeah, <laughs> on his face. The sweat. Yeah, he he's definitely cute. looks really good. But apparently, like, everyone was excited to meet him at the company. Because they, they thought he was hot. They oh. heard rumors. And the female lead, she was like, how hot can he be? Just look at his grandpa. <laughs> So basically, Taemu, the male lead, he just does whatever he wants. He's like, I'm not showing up to this because I'm all work and no play. Mm -hmm. Well, the female lead, Hari, she's like a food researcher at the same company. She has like a really bubbly personality. I really like her. And she has a crush on this guy, the chef. And he's totally clueless. He's like, oh, here's some tickets to a concert. Yeah, happy birthday. Make sure you take a guy. But not me. <laughs> like, it was like a really bad friend zone. Yes. He seems to just friend zone everyone, though. Mm. So I'm like, maybe he's interested in guys. <laughs> I don't know. Because there are all these cute girls trying to go after you, and you don't like any of them. He did just break up, though. Oh, he did? Yeah. Okay. That's why she thought she had a chance. Gotcha. Whenever he asked her to maybe come meet him. Maybe he's just not ready then. Mm. Okay. Who knows? Sorry, chef. Didn't mean to call you anything. But at the chef's restaurant... It was so embarrassing when she did the cake smash. <laughs> I was like, oh no. And it was for a couple's 100th day celebration. Mm -hmm. Do people do that? Yes. No. <laughs> 100 days? As this is a thing in Korea? It should be. Is it not it in America? Be. Maybe some people do like three month anniversaries. Mm, Maybe that's that like that. True. But I, I'm not into all that. Just the annual is enough? Yeah, it's a little much. And a whole cake. Yeah. Like, that's a huge cake. You always need an excuse for cake. <laughs> like, if there's an occasion, you just get it. It did look delicious. Mm hmm But she just has, like, a horrible day, and it's her birthday, and she still has to go help at her parents' fried chicken restaurant. Well, it was really sad because her co-workers were going to take her out to dinner, and mm -hmm. she thought she had a chance with the chef, so she just left them mm -hmm. to go see him. But her co-workers were like, oh, we're going to go anyways, even without the birthday girl. Yeah, she should have just turned around and go join them. I know. She's like, hey, where are you guys at? At least have a little bit of a birthday celebration. Mm -hmm. She gets in an argument with the neighboring business, and she, like, pushes him in his sign. He was a little dramatic. Like, he come was. on. Did she really push you that hard? So now she owes him all this money. And I looked up 800,000 wands. That's, like, 640 U.S. dollars. 
It's not that much. That's not that bad, but she has no money. <laughs> She's so poor. That's sad. Like, how much is Taemu paying her? Mm-hmm. She has a full-time job there. Yeah, that is true. Taemu, she needs a raise. But I really liked her bedroom set. She has such a nice room. Yeah. It's ginormous. It's, like, bigger than most people's New York City apartment. <laughs> so the grandpa, his goal this time for his grandson coming home was to get him to start dating and get married and have grandkids. And the grandpa's so cute. He's so endearing. His eyes just light up when he talks about grandkids. Uh-huh. And he was so cute, too. Like, he has an alarm that reminds him when to start watching dramas. <laughs> do you do that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> I was like, I need to prioritize time to watch my K-dramas. <laughs> but in order to get Taemu to go on all these dates... How many of them? 20. He lets him fire the corrupt somebody, some worker there. Yeah. The assistant tells him, I hope you find them in your first 10. <laughs> and he's like, why? <laughs> because 11 to 20 are out of town. <laughs> out of the country. Country. Crazy. But it turns out that his first one is Hari's best friend. And Hari has apparently been going on all these blind dates for the best friend in order to sabotage them. Yeah, because her best friend's like, no, I don't want to go on any blind dates. Like, I want to meet someone naturally and fall in love with them. She's so in the clouds. She's like romantic. Yes. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with arranged dates. Mm-hmm. If it works out, that's... Right what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. But she wants to meet her man of destiny. They show one of the blind dates that Harry went for her best friend and she pretended that she was possessed. That was crazy. (laughs) I was cracking up laughing. The show is just so funny. (laughs) Like how did he come up with this stuff? Harry didn't want to go so her best friend has to pay her to go as Harry owes all that money. Yes. So she agrees. She goes and dressed up she looks so good. Yeah, even though she was trying to, like, seem off-putting, she still looks super attractive. Because her friend made her super attractive. <laughs> it's like, if you want to sabotage all these dates, why don't you make yourself look very unattractive? Right. Go the other direction. But I love that scene when they were trying on clothes. Oh, I like... love how they did it. <laughs> yeah, it was like a TikTok. Everyone was looking at her whenever she walked into the room. Except Taemu. Taemu didn't really care. He was yeah. just like, eh, let's get on with this. It wasn't until they exchanged business cards that she realized that, oh my god, he's my boss. Shoot, what did I get myself into? <laughs> but she went along with her plan, went through her list of things that make a girl look unattractive. Samantha and Rachel. <laughs> that was my favorite one. <laughs> I was like, wait, who's Samantha and Rachel? <laughs> and then I was like, is she talking about her boobs? <laughs> her <laughs> boobs, are you serious? Oh my. And then she, like, took off her clothes. She's like, guys don't like it whenever girls show too much skin. Actually, guys do. (laughs) They do. (laughs) So, I don't know. Maybe Korean guys don't? Korean guys out there, do y'all like it when (laughs) girls show skin? Is that a thing y'all don't like? But she was like, oh my god, it's so hot in here. (laughs) And he's like, oh, I see some goosebumps. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, she's not fooling him. (laughs) And then she's like, oh no, I need to bring out the ultimate weapon. (laughs) want to get a room together (laughs) (laughs) and he calls her bluff he said yes he calls her bluff he's like all right let's go let's go let's do this i was wondering what was he thinking they went to the hotel and he was like getting a room that's what calling her bluff means joe he gotta go through with it until she chickens out (laughs) yeah she was worried about what to do until a lady spotted her and she's like she looks like the girl that my boyfriend's cheating on accuses her yeah (laughs) he should have been like no she's been with me Mm -hmm, this past hour how could she have been with your guy Mm -hmm. i mean he did like stand up for her for a little bit no he believed the woman because later on he's like oh so you're not a (laughs) two-timer and she's like no i do see three or four different guys at a time Mm -hmm. i don't do the two-timing like, two is too little for me. No, she's saying she's just this open relationship, but she doesn't go cheat on people. Oh, really? Yeah, like, okay. she sees different guys at the same time. Like, she, like, goes and dates. Oh, that's what that means. Yeah, that's, what did you think it means? <laughs> I thought that, like, she doesn't see two people at a time. She sees three or four at a time. No, that's she just means it. she dates around. Okay, okay. She's not monogamous, but he's into all that. He's like, 
oh, this is the girl I'm going to marry. <laughs> She's like, I like that. <laughs> I was like, what? You like that? And I think part of it was because he didn't want to go on any of the other dates. I figured that out later when he was telling the assistant that. Mm-hmm. But at first I was confused. I was shocked that he just told his grandpa, like, oh, yeah, I like her. Like, I want to get married so with her. So basically he wants to marry her just to get away from having to do all these other dates. Mm-hmm. It's efficient. It's just a business thing to him. The poor girls, they were, like, saying karaoke, thinking that they got done with this. <laughs> they were doing a good karaoke performance. All the tissue papers. We also see the love line between the assistant and the best friend forming. They meet each other at the convenience store. And this kid, like, ran up to her and accidentally scratched her dress with, like, a Sharpie. Kids. I would be so mad. Kids. I would not have been as nice as her. She was so nice. She, like, made it even worse. Like, she drew even more on her dress. It's like, why, girl? Why? <laughs> it's okay. She rich, though. She can do that. <laughs> I guess so. But she was really nice, and that really touched the assistant. He was like, oh, this is such a nice girl. But he didn't do anything about it. No. She left the store, and she, like, forgot her keys and wallet. And whenever she was coming back, she runs into the assistant, and they, like, clashed. And they, like, go down and pick up their stuff. Joan likes that. Yes. It's, like, it's the way she, her <laughs> best friend wanted to meet a guy, like, unintentionally, <laughs> and just, like, fall in love, okay? Yes, okay. Hari has to meet... Tamu again. Yeah, why? Because she wants to reject him. Oh, right. Okay. Because the best friend didn't want to Yeah, she didn't want to go. Anything. Gotcha. He's like, well, give me 10 dates and I'll try to win your heart. I was surprised. Yeah, he was like determined. Yeah. It was a little romantic, honestly. <laughs> it was. I like the aggressiveness. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, you can woo me in 10, 10 dates. dates. Make it 20. <laughs> <laughs> But she refuses and, like, runs out the door. She was, like, walking across the street and she spots her crush come in. The chef. She's like, shoot. I didn't understand, like, what was wrong with him seeing her like that? What was wrong with the outfit? There was nothing wrong with her outfit. Her outfit was just very... She looked good. She had, like, a sexy outfit on. Yes, maybe that's what the chef likes. Maybe <laughs> if you showed him that outfit, he'd be like, oh, okay. I like me some Hari. The reason why he friend-zoned her was because she was too cute looking. <laughs> right. She's too, like, girl next door looking. Mm. Maybe he likes the sexy girl. Okay, okay. Come on, Hari. Come on. Get in the game. But while she was avoiding him, she runs back into Tamu's car. I was like, wait, she didn't know that was Tamu's car? She literally just ran into a stranger's car. I wouldn't do that. That's so dangerous. <laughs> yes, because that's how you get kidnapped. You willingly run yourself into a random stranger's car. You just don't know how her brain works. <laughs> no, she's crazy. So, that's the end of episode one. With episode two opening up, like, she tells him, like, all the reasons why she doesn't like him. Because he's like, what are you doing here? You just told me I never want to see you again. And yet, you run into my car. She calls him a bird. Like, a dinosaur bird. Yeah, a dinosaur bird. <laughs> a cheesy archaeopteryx. <laughs> and the assistant just laughs. He's like, yeah, that's right. He looks like one. <laughs> So Hari tells her best friend that she got it covered. She's like, he won't talk to us anymore. So they get out and, you know, get happy and get drunk. And the cops had to bring them home. They were so wasted. Oh my god. And the cops in Korea are so nice. I know. They would not do that here in the U.S. They would just arrest you for public <laughs> intoxication. They would not be nice enough to bring you home like that. And put slippers on you mm -hmm. and everything. Yeah. Where did the slippers come from? But now, Hari, she has to make sure that she doesn't see her boss at work. Like, because she's trying to avoid him at all costs. Because he knows her face. Yes. She was trying to run back to her office, and... She spots Taemu. Yeah. Taemu starts coming at her, and she was, like, trying to run away. Somehow, her slippers went to Taemu's face. <laughs> it, like, hit his face. His nose starts bleeding. <laughs> He's like, who hit me? <laughs> <laughs> she runs off and he goes chasing after her. Why though? Like, why do you have to go chase her? I don't know. <laughs> why no was that sense. necessary? And plus, she doesn't look that Different. similar. No, I don't think she looks that much the same as no. the girl with the whole glow up. Oh, really? You think it's actually different? I think she looks very different when she puts all that makeup on mm -hmm. and the hair. I could see some similarities, but I guess whenever she has her glasses on, it She should have just up. stuck her glasses on. That's what they use at Snowdrop. <laughs> Apparently, it's enough. Hari's best friend 
she's finally gonna set the record straight with Tamu. She texts him at breakfast when he was with the grandpa to meet up with him. He's thinking, oh yes, I got another chance with this girl. I'm gonna get her to marry me. He's not giving up. <laughs> no. The best friend drives to their meeting place and she bumps into Tamu's car. I didn't even know at first that she hit them. But she gets to see the assistant. <laughs> That's yeah. what matters. It's the they just keep bumping into, into each, each other, other. Yeah, literally. There. there you go. There you go. I like that. And he's like, "Wait, you're that girl, mm -hmm. but you not her. Who's the real one?" <laughs> and he's like, "So you've been scamming me." <laughs> the best friend's telling Taemu, "You gotta call this wedding off mm -hmm. because my dad's on me to get married." <laughs> and he's like, "The only way I'm gonna call this off is if I meet that girl first. And I'm like, why do you want to see her again? She scammed you. <laughs> she scammed you bad. And I thought it was so wrong that the best friend tricked her into going to see him again. <laughs> that was wrong too. Yeah. Like she didn't tell her until it was like time. Like she brought her to the right time like and location. She just left her. That was so mean. I would never do that to my best friend. No. That is so dangerous. That was so low. I couldn't believe that. I would be so mad at her. Me too. I'd be like, you gotta pay me again. <laughs> Pay up. I'm not doing this for free. And it's not like she was staying there to like make sure she was safe. Like she just left. Yes. <laughs> what kind of best friend is that? Right? Good karaoke partner, but bad friend. During the meeting, he also finds out where she works and where she lives. She's at such a disadvantage now. Because obviously this guy has stalker tendencies. It's not good for him to know where you live. Oh, he wanted to meet her again because he wanted to know why she called him that dinosaur bird. That's why he wanted to meet her. Because he's still so offended by it. He was so stressed about it that he <laughs> went to his assistant's apartment and cleaned up his whole apartment for him. Yes. And cooked. I was like, girl, you don't need that chef. You got a chef right here. Exactly. And I'm like, Tamu, just come to my house whenever you're stressed. That food looks so good. It wow. was. It made me hungry. I was like, please come clean my house and cook for me. Yeah. I'll give you all the de-stress that you need. <laughs> <laughs> so now that the wedding's definitely off, he's back on the blind dates. The assistant schedules him 11 dates. In one day. In one day. It wasn't even a full day. It was like an afternoon after work. <laughs> and all the days were so boring. All those girls are so bland. He's like, none of them are like the first one that just outrightly rejects me. And scammed me. <laughs> I like the scammer. I want her. The grandpa drops off this whole book of dates for him. It's like a guy even more. It's binded with gold embossment too. Like the grandpa's serious. The grandpa, he should open up like a dating agency or whatever. <laughs> he did so much research. And Taemu, he's freaked out like, oh no, I do not want to go through this whole book. So he's like, I better call up Hari. He gives her a proposal saying that, hey, like I'll pay you to pretend to be my fiance. I'll pay you double of what your friend paid you. And here's my favorite trope. Contract relationship. Yes. I love it. <laughs> and we all know how this is going to end. Hey, this time, different from Bridgerton, there's money involved. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of money. She was like, no, 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 at first. She's like, I just scammed you in the beginning. Like, I don't want to scam any more people. But then she's like, ooh, money. Money. She's yeah. like, I've been in debt my whole life. And he even comes by with a whole contract drawn up. Mm -hmm. He wrote it down. It was thick too. Like, how much is in this relationship? He thought of everything. What are the terms? Yeah. <laughs> Hari keeps telling him, I can't do this. And he's like, why? Why can't you? She should have just come clean then. Because he won't be surprised. He's already been scammed so much by you. He wouldn't be surprised for one more scam. But she doesn't want to lose her job. She should have just told him then. It would be worse later on. Not if he falls in love with her. I think even if she told him... He would just be like, okay, that's fine, whatever, you work for me. Mm -hmm. I can still have you as a contract relationship. <laughs> this is outside of the company. Yeah, <laughs> second job. Second job. But her brother's coming up the walk, and she's like, oh no! <laughs> and she you. falls on him. Yeah. Her lips fall on his lips. 
I wasn't surprised. What? That happens all the time, though. I thought that doesn't happen till like, halfway through. Uh, but see, this is the unintentional kiss, so it can come earlier. Unintentional kiss. Yeah, the, okay. in, the intentional kiss has to be, like, episode eight. <laughs> but this is only 12 episodes, so it's oh, got to come by episode six. Maybe, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. But I loved all of the special effects in this show. Like, every time he calls mm -hmm. on her phone, a dinosaur, like, little thing would pop up. A dinosaur bird pops up. <laughs> yes. And then, also, the best friend and the assistant, like, they had all of the flowers popped up whenever she was seeing him. She's like, oh my god. I really like the quirkiness of this show. I'm in it. I'm in it, guys. It's so funny. If you stay with us till this point, please leave us a lips emoji. Because those awkward lips almost touching. If you enjoyed watching this video, please give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button to follow us and get more videos from us for business proposal. And ring that notification bell so you don't miss any of our updates. Follow us on Instagram at Leave a Nameless. We have lots of exclusive content for you there. And thanks for watching. See you guys next time on Lifestyle, Lifestyle of the Pleave and Nameless. Bye. Bye. And the female lead. Hed Hedri Hedri Hari? Hari? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Hari. Hari. I just call it Hari. Hari.